Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with me, Get Daved. It comes to my attention that we need to do a fair amount of materia rejigging, but I'm gonna let it wait because I've got some Leviathan scales to make some get some good use out of. It comes to my attention, I probably should have grabbed that last Turtle's Paradise flyer out, or two that I was missing. Oh well. Maybe I'll sneak it in after everything. And I believe this is the way I want to go. Nope. Cool Hand, though. They actually call that statue Cool Hand Luke. Not a word of a lie. And we're back. So if you remember when... Yuffie stole all of our materia. We came to this cave before. Rude was in it. And we couldn't get past the flames. Now that we have the Leviathan scales, we can push the flames back. The Oritsuru is apparently a piece of flapping origami, but it's a remarkable weapon for Yuffie, so that's awesome treat part one. And back here, I believe, is the Leviathan materia, if memory serves. Which is always nice to get. There's never... Oh, steel as well? Oh yeah, I remember how to get the Leviathan materia. Well, steel as well is kind of cool. It's a support materia, you pair it with another one, and you'll steal when you do the paired action. So again, I recommend pairing it with something like Deathblow. Alright, so let's get off the Dachau statue. Slash mountain. And we're going to head to the Pagoda and go through a little challenge for Yuffie. A little test of strength. So. I believe the Bolt arm what's available. Yeah, Zedric is awesome. Really high stats. And again, all elemental attacks and it doesn't say it, but physical damage is halved as well. And that does not mean you have barrier and end barrier. That's ignoring that. Um, I think I am going to go with the Ribbon on this one, and because this is such a focused thing for Yuffie, I'm just going to strip off everyone else's materia so we can come up with one ultimate configuration on her. So, kind of the most difficult thing is, this is one of your last opportunities, last good opportunities anyway, to learn Trine. Technically, I think you can get them from Stilvas, which, uh can be found, well that's the one we learned Magic Breath from, if you remember. But, uh, yeah, gonna put three enemy skills on her, she'll still have Big Guard, you know, mainly the one we want. We can always use Beta instead of Aqualung if we want uh, the big damage. Other thing we're gonna want, Restore. Most definitely gonna want that. I'm gonna try for death blow and added cut. Don't need cover, because it's only her. Don't need long range, because she's already got a long range weapon. HP plus, definitely. And oh, Tifa still has counterattack, that's why. Counterattack is extremely important. Uh, Luck Plus and Magic Plus might not be bad ideas either, just to really deck out her offense. Got Death Blow, we'll throw in Added Cut. And let's go with... Time. Wow. Very close to an upgrade on Comet, that's nice. And though she doesn't have a lot of magic material on it, that's okay, we want her attack to be nice and high, so... I'm not going to try to use things that will inhibit that. 
And in we go. The pagoda can be found a way back here. You'll recall I just completely ignored it the first time we went to Wutai. Alright, and I'm just gonna fiddle with one thing. Sorry, everybody. Absolutely. Hope her HP is full. Sacred Gorky? Kinda lost out in the name department there. They each have some sort of metamorphosis they undergo. To be honest, the first few fights aren't even that challenging. The challenge is such that you probably could complete it the first time you go to Nabal- or pardon me, Wutai. But uh, I prefer to save it. Having the Aura Zero is really makes it a lot easier, although the Magic Shuriken is available the first time. There's five floors to it. And I guess I should put a Restore Materia on someone else, so between fights... We can get our HP back... ...at no real inconvenience. Because I'm not exactly gonna have her slamming back the ethers in between fights. Boom! Sometimes it's hard to tell whether or not, uh, or which text option corresponds to picking a fight. It's always the first one. Shake can actually be a little on the dangerous side. I mean, I'm not going to freak out about him, but... I'll just put up regen and then hammer on the death blows. We've got a 40% counter attack rate. I'm very close to upgrading that, but... Yeah, this is where worth getting a little concerned. There we go. His Rage Bomber or normal attack combo is actually not unlike the Death Blow added, cu added cut pairing. Two out of five done. I'm sure we have enough HP for this fight. See, like, to me that suggests I'm ready to fight her, but whatever. Sacred magic, hey? I wonder... No, I've got the ribbon on. There's no problem associated with that attack. Oh 
my goodness. And stop worked. Well, have I got a treat for you. Chekhov. Pavel Andreevich. Oh, and we got an ice ring. I think I may have already had one of those. Might have been the water ring. Alright, this fight is definitely harder than the other ones. I don't understand. In my opinion, the toughest of the first four but, uh, yeah. Doesn't have a prayer now. So yeah, time and added effect, everybody. What, what? You didn't get a single attack in, buddy, that's what. It's the man. I always found this part a little difficult to get through just because the music's so oppressive. Felt very heavy. Okay. And now we get ourselves a real fight. Clues. You'll get hit by that attack a lot. There's a few things you want to be careful of. I would say the most important is that we do want to, in fact, get hit by Trine before the fight is done. Because of that, I don't know if I really want to hit him with this attack. Just play it by the book so thus far. Trine? Trying to use frog on me. Beast sword incoming? Yeah. Don't really like the idea of just letting him pound on me, but... We do need that enemy skill. I've invested three materia slots in it. Yeah, pretty unusual tactic, eh? This is how we do it in the pros. For some reason, I think he has around 7,000 hit points. Demi, three. Yeah, that's a real threat. Lose three quarters of your hit points with Demi, three, versus 25 and 50 points the other relative levels. Oh 
maybe if we hit him. Well, he's vulnerable to slow, apparently. Not for very long, though. Okay, that's it. Maybe a little bit of a beating will make it more likely he'll use a significant attack. I really don't want to do some off-screening in a fight like this, but... Sleep, hey? Clear Tranquil is actually exactly the same as Breath... or er, uh... Healing Wind, Aerith's first limit break. Plus 50% of max, max HP to all characters. So it's pretty good. Are you gonna go for it? This looks like some sort of special attack. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna start fighting him normally. I have a bolt armlet on to prepare for this and everything. Looks like our regen's worn off. You have to use it. Alright, I'm gonna have to start hitting him a little harder, it looks like, because he's curing faster than I was damaging him for a minute there. This might finish him off, actually. And then the attack. I've never had it be this difficult. Am I not triggering it somehow? likes to heal. There we go. And this should give me full HP. Okay, now that counter-attacking with the heal might be, uh, a little bit more problematic. Counter-attack coupled with a limit break might be enough for me to kill him without, uh, traditional damage, though. Let's see how this goes. There we go. All creation is Yuffie's final limit break. It's not that good. You should stick with her second level 3 one. Not sure what that sound meant. A pretty good summon and water based.
make me beat you down again. Sounds like you were all too proud to admit it. All too proud. I'd say any one of us could have beaten that gauntlet. I kind of find the translation in this whole segment a little bit spotty, but it'll get back to uh, normal soon. trying to weaponize. Alright, so that's how we get Yuffie's ultimate limit break, which is not as good as her penultimate limit break. Give yourself five points if you know how to use the word penultimate correctly. A lot of people don't. And with that, I'm going to take the opportunity to check out a couple Turtles Paradise Flyers, because I uh, neglected that earlier. Because while we're here, we might as well finish off all things Wu-Tai. So one is in Yuffie's basement. Oh goodness. Oh, there it is. Five the big pot. All right. Now we're just going to have to get out of here fly, look at a poster, and then come back. Good times. So, gold saucer it is. And yes, I did just double check that so I could uh, not make a fool of myself. Alright, here we go. 
and sadly there's no faster way to get to Gold Saucer. You have to go up the rope car every time. Johnny? Oh, maybe it's not Johnny. It usually says if it is him. Just with someone who looked like him, I guess. All things considered, it doesn't actually take that long to get here. You gotta go through a couple screens, but that's no big deal. Alright. And I really should have gone, checked out the poster when we were here the first time, but... Alas. There we go. And we can check out the shop actually, I never did show you this. Hi Mr. Hangman. Some sort of perverse twist on Mr. Sandman. No antidotes, huh? Well, that won't do. I think we're past the point. Aside from uh, greens, I think we're past the point where there's useful things to buy. I guess there's uh, the odd materia here or there. I could use a MP plus one, maybe. Alright, so to recap the Turtles Paradise posters, there's two located in Midgar, one's in the Sector 5 slums in uh, the kids' room. There's another one on the first floor of the Shinra building in the back. Number three we just looked at in the hotel in Gold Saucer. Number four and number five are both located in Cosmo Canyon. And number six is in the basement of Yuffie's house, and Wu Tai. Once you've looked at all the posters, you can go to the bar owner of Turtles or of uh, Turtles Paradise. Almost said Turtles Nest Inn, which is a very nice hotel, I guess. Almost like a bed and breakfast in the Cayman Islands vacation to there once. It was delightful. Alright, I believe we have successfully completed... Oh. Have a beer. Please come over here and talk to me. Please. Yes. Woohoo! Eh? Not bad. Equivalent to a level up, I'd say. Alright everybody, we've cleared out Wu Tai. There's never going to be a reason to come back. So, I'll see you all in the next video and we'll uh, get on with advancing that story. I'll see you there.